Welcome back. I have here with me Brian Moore. We're talking about a lot of things about his career and, of course, the music industry. Um, did you change? Do you have a change of name? Yes. From Ashimi to Olofor. Why? Um, first of all, Ashimi is an Arabic name. Okay. <laughs> Although my dad named me, so I had to live with it. So I, I grew up, and I'm a Yoruba man. So let me let's keep it at that. So where's Olofor from? Uh, that's my great grandfather's nickname. Okay. Um, it sounded very nice. It sounds very grand. <laughs> it sounds, this, very it sounds like a fella moment from Ransom <laughs> to Anikulako. Was there, was there, was that oh, yeah, thing, actually, was that it does sound like that. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> but I, I think I just get older and I just feel like I want my identity to be more authentic organic, to more authentic. Yeah. And, yeah. I, and I, I've always liked the name Olofora, Olofora. So I said, I'm going to just change my Interesting. name to this one. I think I saw an interview where you said something about being the greatest artist in the country or something. Yeah, of all time. Yeah, of all time. Yes. How did you come to that conclusion? Um, yeah, because I'm, I'm a musician. And because I'm a musician, I found out that music is not usually just all about making myself happy. Yeah, I can sing. Yeah, I have a great voice. I sing for women. I sing for money. I sing for everything. But um, especially in our, in our time. In fact, from like the 60s, 70s, music has become like a tool for activism, a tool with which you can fix society and get stuff across to people. And... I am the only Nigerian artist making the kind of music I'm making and making a living off it, ever. Most people who do what I do, in fact, don't even live in the country. After a while, they leave and go and hustle elsewhere because so that it, makes you the greatest. it just doesn't work. Most importantly, I care about the, not only the growth of the music industry itself, I care about the growth of my listeners. I care about the growth of everybody who is involved in the music business more than anybody in the history of Nigerian music. And um, uh, what else? I'm the best performer alive. I'm the best songwriter alive. I'm the best vocalist alive. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you could, if, if we got a laugh. <laughs> no, but it's, if, it's, confidence is a, oh it's a great God. thing. So I mean, why not? Um, what's the one thing you want to see changed in industry, if you could? One thing. Or if you had the powers. Uh, right now, I just want someone to totally stamp out piracy and just fix the price of our records just just those two things yeah. if piracy is no more if it's totally controlled and we can sell nigerian records for a thousand a thousand five hundred naira, we already have a great industry on track everything else will fall into place yeah. from then on you said you're you fell out with mainstream media Are, would you come back to it if you could Media, mainstream, music, sorry, mainstream music, music, music industry. Yeah. Well, like if a record label came to you now uh, to sign you, is that an option? Open locally, to you? yes. When those things I just said are done, it will be workable because if you put. So you would not take a deal in Nigeria right now. If you put because if you put twenty million naira on my project, how do you intend to make it back from endorsement deals? Endorsement deals or concerts, um, hired concerts, they are secondary. Um, uh, avenues of making money for us. Our primary sources of income still remains our mechanical royalties from radios, our record sales directly. Those are like our primary sources of income. If we don't fix that, we will never be free. Because if you sign me up and you want to make your money back, you will have to call your friends in telecom companies so they can give me a deal. <laughs> yeah. So avoid that. What we can control is the records we put out. And that is not. And if working. the music is good, People will naturally just patronize us. Speaking of music, um, how do we get your album? Uh, you can you can uh, find me on Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, all Spinlet, MTN Music Plus. You can find me on all these amazing digital platforms. You can find me. Uh, you can get my CDs from say Jazz Hole, Terra Culture, or maybe sixty other stores nationwide. If you buy my album in traffic, it is fake. So it don't buy it. Pirated, please. It, you can't even see it there anyway. But um, album is called again. Uh, the new one. The new one is called Osho. Yeah. Thank you very much, Brimo. Always Ross, a great pleasure so speaking with you. Thank Hopefully, you, so you come back because I feel like we needed more thank time thank to talk thank about thank a lot you. of things. <laughs> and um, go out there, please, and buy his new album, Osho. But like I always say, you can follow the conversation on Twitter. Why Niger TV is the handle. The hashtag to follow is dropping mind. You can also visit the website, whynaija.tv. Thanks for joining us. I'll see you next Sunday. <laughs>